Hi, I'm Lucy from Lucy's in the Kitchen, and today I have a special guest with me, Kenny Wilkerson, who's an author and a rocker. Yeah, how you doing, Lucy? I'm good, how are Thanks you? Thanks for having me, yeah. I'm, I'm very excited to cook with you today. Yes, I'm excited to have you here. So tell me about your book. Well, what it is, I have a book that's coming out. It's called Rockin' Recipes for Autism, Volume 1, and I, it's an 8 by 10 hardback, 128 pages. Full glossy, and it has like 70 of your most famous rockers in it. Really? And yeah. they've all submitted recipes? Yeah, well, all these years of me being on the road, I've met different guys. Right. And it's, it's funny how, you know, back in the day, these guys were just party animals. And, right. and now uh, they own restaurants, they have families, they're vegetarian, vegan, etc. And I just started collecting them as we went, and uh, I have a son with autism. Oh, I see. Uh, so it's, it's close to my heart, and I thought, how else can I, uh, you know, pass this on and mm -hmm. raise awareness? Uh, and I, the cookbook was the way to go. That's wonderful. Yeah. So today we're going to be cooking a black bean burger recipe. And where'd you get that recipe from? The black bur bean burger, sorry, is uh, from Ricky Rocket from Poison. Okay, The cool. from Poison. Yeah, cool. multi. You know, I mean, he's forty million albums yeah. sold. Everybody knows Poison. He loves right? these. He loves these burgers. Yes. So let's get started. Okay, great. All right. So what we have is um, some organic black beans that I um, opened it up. I uh, drained them and rinsed them. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mash. Oh. Oh, I love to mash. I can, that I can do. While you're mashing, okay. I'm going to saute uh, a little bit of chopped up onion. I'm going to put a little spray olive oil in the pan. Nice. Some onion and some garlic. It calls for about a uh, tablespoon of garlic. I hate to chop garlic, so I have this really cool little grater. And what I'm going to do is set that down. Watch this, Kenny. I'm watching. This is the easiest thing. Look at that. Now this comes as a garlic grater? Yeah, it's a garlic is? grater. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to just stir this just a little bit. Saute those. So how, how many onions? How much onions? That was a there? quarter cup. Quarter cup of onions. Yep. And this is a full can of beans? Yep. 15 gotcha. ounces. We'll do three large garlic because let's face it, you can never have enough garlic. That's a fact. Keeps vampires away too. Yes. Heard. <laughs> okay, look at that. So beautiful, nice and smooth. So you were asking me earlier, uh, who's who's in the cookbook? Yeah. You know, um, I've got guys from, um, I got Brian Forsythe from Kix. Okay. He did a nice recipe. Uh, Frankie Benelli did some kind of uh, pumpkin ravioli. Something fancy, yeah, yeah I saw yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Phil Sasson, if you, you guys know this guy, he um, he wrote Shot in the Dark for Ozzy. Oh. He, he played a couple of Ozzy albums. I know he played on Billy Idol's albums. I know funny, he, funny, funny thing, Ozzy and I share a birthday. Although I'm a lot younger. Right. right. <laughs> but uh, no, just there's a lot of friends. Joey Allen from Warren put in a recipe. I've mm -hmm. got Eddie from Twisted Sister. Uh, so, so it's just like recipes across the board, a little bit of everything. Well, yeah, I, I have sauces. I tell everybody I have everything from Jello to gumbo. Oh, wow. There you and go. And I have a great gumbo recipe in there, by the Very way. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, so go ahead and bang that on there so okay. that it gets off the best you can. There okay. you go. Right. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to let this cool, our onion and garlic mixture, um, and we can start adding our cilantro to the mix. Okay, how much cilantro is this? That roughly? is a quarter cup. Quarter cup of cilantro. To that we're going to also add um, uh, some soy sauce. Okay. Soy sauce, how much? Two teaspoons. Got it. We got a teaspoon of salt. Nice. We got a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's going to give it a little kick. Okay. I like that. Yep. Um, we've got a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. And then um, I'm going to go ahead. This is cooled off enough. We're going to add this right in there. Got to love the onions. Yep. Good flavor. Okay. And then we've got uh, one egg. Now, we talked about off camera on this. You, you can do an egg with one hand, right? Yes, I can. Okay, I want to see it. Okay. Give it a good crack. Hey, look at that. You did no, no shells or nothing. Nope. So now, do I need to smash this all no, together? No, we don't or? want to do that. So the, the easiest way to mix this together yes. is with your hands. So, so tell me a little bit more about the book. Well, you know, like I said. Is my, it available now? It's not. Right now, if you go to, uh, we have a website called Rockin' Recipes for mm -hmm. Autism. That's rockin' without a G for okay. autism.com. Uh, you can see a lot of people. There's a preview of, uh, of some pages that will be on it. Uh, talks about some of the musicians that are in it and why I did the book and stuff. Okay, we're, um, and we're doing it for um, the charity that's involved. It's a company called We Rock for Autism, which I've met at a lot of rock and roll events mm -hmm. and became friends with them. And uh, it's for uh, autistic, 
aware, awareness and uh, music therapy. Okay, so get right in there. I'm ready. I, I can okay. do this. I can do. Yeah. You know, it's funny too. Before this recipe, I thought I knew how to cook, but, <laughs> but I just I've learned I just know how to feed myself. Well, you know, I think that's a good start. That's right. A good start. But I like getting messy. This yeah. is all fun. So then, when I'm making burgers, whether it be bean burgers or meat burgers, I like my burgers to be the same size. I always take a measuring cup. Okay. I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil in there. We make it come out easier, okay? Then we're gonna pop that in and we're gonna firm it in like that. On that side. Okay. There we go. That's, a, that's that. simple, huh? Okay, I'm gonna try one of those. Okay. Just level it off right there. Yeah, push it in there a little bit. Something like that? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Don't get all the mess up. <laughs> there you go. Okay. And boom. Oh, there that? you go. Now get to smush it? Yep. Smush it. Like that? Yep. Make it a little bit. Form it up. There you go. Nice. That's beautiful. Okay. Just get on there. Just like that. Okay. Like that. Perfect. We've got our oven over there preheated to 375. Okay. We're going to pop those babies in. For eight minutes. Okay, just take these to the oven. Take them to the oven. Okay. And then after eight minutes, we're going to flip them over and put them in for another six minutes or so. Um, so now we'll go ahead and make our sauce. So what we have here is some non-fat Greek yogurt. It's got to be Greek yogurt. Okay. You can put that in there. Is this dump the whole thing in it? Yep. Okay. Greek yogurt is that real thick. Um, right. It really makes a nice, um, a nice dressing. And then in addition to that, we've got some sriracha. Sriracha is spicy. Oh, I like the spice. Yeah. And we're going to put one teaspoon of that in there. You got the teaspoon. Okay, just go we're ahead gonna and get put it. One teaspoon of this in here. White wine vinegar. Okay. okay. That's enough, right? One yeah. of those. Do, do, do. Oh, do you, a little, a little extra, extra okay. wine you ever heard of. Yeah, that, right? Exactly. Just mix that up. Yep. We have nice. our burgers already finished. Got some buns. So um, what we need is a is our arugula and avocado out of there and a spatula to put those on. Well, I brought my own spatula. Oh, <laughs> that's so, beautiful. So I'm ready. Okay. All right. So let's put a little bit of our sriracha aioli. That's what they're, they're on both sides or just one yeah, side? Yeah, I think on both sides. Right. Because this is a little spicy, you said, right? Yeah. And the burgers had the cayenne, so they're going to be a little spicy too. I, I like spicy. Yeah. Okay, so okay, something like that. Put our burgers on the bottom. Right. Something like that. Mm -hmm. It looks fantastic. Let me use my fancy uh, spatula. Not everyone has one of those. I, I got this for Christmas. It's nice, right there. Yeah. One for you. Get that one on there for you. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do this with my hands. We're going to put a little bit of avocado. Then we're going to put some arugula. And nice. Arugula is really my favorite. I, I, they call this rocket lettuce. Yeah, all right. right. There we go. So this all right. Can we just take a bite? Where are we at? We just take a bite of this thing? I'm excited. Let's go for it. Okay, see what, we're going to cut this. See, see, okay. see what Ricky's doing. All right, doing. here we go. Cheers. Cheers. And for a good cause. Exactly. Mmm. There's a little bit of heat there. That's like so it. good. Mm. Simple, easy, doesn't take a lot. Yeah. There's the heat. I felt oh, like yeah. a minute and get it. So, uh, anyways, to get these recipes, yes. this and many more, like I said, go to rockandrecipesforautism.com, uh, pre order your book. This should be out by the summer. Like I said, it's got 70 plus rockers and in it. And these are their favorite recipes. So, what's really cool is that. If you do any cooking at all, this recipe was super simple. I know they're not all that simple. No. But the, the, the cool thing is is to know what your favorite rock star's favorite recipe yeah. is. These, uh, like I said, if you want to see what, what your rockers eat, and the money goes to a great uh, charity called yeah. We Rock for Autism. Okay. But you can check it. And actually, I, well, I'll give it to you later, but I brought you a little pamphlet. Oh, cool. and a yeah, yeah. And, and how do you find We Rock for Autism? You just go to WeRockForAutism.com. Yeah. Or if you go to our website, Rock and Recipes for Autism, there's a link there. Okay, it, it explains there why uh, we did it, how it came about, where's the money going.